Hold it, hold it. Get your gun. Get your gun, Mr. Roth. Oh, Lord, look at a tree, baby. We got a tree shaker, Mr. R. We got a tree shaker. Oh, oh, oh. Alligator hunting is roughly 300 years old in Louisiana, so it remains a tradition people from there don't joke about it. And that birthed the Swamp People, a reality TV show which has aired on History Channel, and it has a record of being one of the most popular series ever produced due to its unique approach to entertain viewers. There are a lot of reality TV shows that are based on family, automobiles, and even racing. But deadly adventures like alligator hunting are rarely seen. But here we are with The Swamp People. Swamp People was first aired on History Channel in August 2010, revolving around the daily activities of alligator hunters living in the swamps of the Atchafalaya River Basin who hunt alligators for a living. The reality show was considered one of the few rarest shows because of its real scenario of people doing what could be tagged the most dangerous job in the world. Despite being the viewer's favorite show, it has gathered a lot of controversies, particularly death rumors of its cast members. We are here to debunk such rumors while explaining what really happened to Troy Landry. Let's begin. One shot, no kid. One shot, wonder. One shot, no kid. It's over. Boom, it's over. Troy is a native of Atchafalaya Basin in the Pierre Parte region of Louisiana. So that explains his unrivaled brilliance on Swamp People, because when you talk about skilled alligator hunters without being biased, Troy Landry will definitely top the chart. Troy was born to Duffy, his father, and Myrtle, his mother, in 1961, but grew up with his brother, Bubba Landry. The Landry family has been hunting crocodiles and alligators for more than five generations before Troy so he definitely has no choice but to follow the hunting path, which is now a major source of income for him and his sons, who are also on the show. Aside from gator hunting, the Landry family also engage in selling lumberjacks, trappers, moss peddlers, and shrimpers, living off the land and making a decent living. Troy and his brother Bubba were taught the skills of hunting by their father and grandfather, and also elders in the family. The skills which have been passed from generation to generation help the Landrys stay competitive in any hunting festivals, and also make huge money, just like Troy on Swamp People. After achieving a considerable level of success hunting, Troy married his wife Bernita in 1981. They now live in a luxurious home built of cypress after living in the trailer for most of their married life, trying to save money for the perfect house. The couple has two sons, Jacob and Chase, and Bertina's son, Branson, who is now a stepson to Troy. Just like Troy learned gator hunting skills from his parents in childhood, Chase and Jacob also learned a great deal from Troy, and they now feature on Swamp People with their father, but on a different fishing boat. Jacob and Holden, Troy's nephew, serve as a deckhand to Chase on the show. It seems the gator hunting business in the Landry family isn't going anywhere soon. The show also served as an avenue for people who know what it is like to choose a deadly job like gator hunting as a major job. The honesty and educational values on the show made it a fan favorite. The fame on the show is not something you get. You work for it through perseverance and hard work. Talking about Troy's exploits on the show, it is evident that Troy is the highest gator hunter on Swamp People. He is the king of the swamp. He knows every nook and cranny of the swamp. He knows precisely where to face when hunting. He knows how to set his gear to lure the gators out of their swamp. And he fills more tags than other gator hunters every season. The gator tags are just an initiative by the government to avoid animal extinction in the province. It has been stated that gator hunting has its season. And each season, all gator hunters will be given tags, and once they exhaust their tags, they will not be liable to hunt again until the following gator hunting season. If this hadn't been done, the Landry family would have made gators extinct in Louisiana with their great hunting skills. A large part of Troy's earnings come from the show, even though he has other side businesses like crawfish sales that fetches him money. Gator hunters also sell other parts of their gators, which cost a lot in the market. Troy has leveraged his earnings wisely. He knows what it feels like to not have a home, and he knows what it is to scrimp and save to own the things he has wanted in life, such as a dream home. Remember he once lived in a trailer with his wife? All these help Troy make a better choice. Even though not all gator hunters become multimillionaires, Troy supplemented his income with appearances on the History Channel's Swamp People and leveraged the additional income in ways that helped him establish a sound financial base. Troy opened a restaurant to serve goodies from his hunts since the gator season lasts only a few months, and gator hunters fend for themselves by other sea creatures post-gator and pre-gator hunting season. Troy has also appeared in episodes on Swamp People, and with a pay of $25,000 per episode since August 2010, that is a lot of money if you do the maths. 
Troy is one of the senior cast members of the show, and being a top cast might contribute to how much he earns even though his catch determines his net worth at the end of the day. With an estimated $2 million, Troy's net worth is something to write home about, considering his sacrifices and the zeal to make a decent living off hunting. However, some sources have reported that Troy's net worth is around $3 million and not $2 million. Recently, Troy was diagnosed with prostate cancer, which caused him to undergo a surgical operation to have it removed. After a successful operation, he is now back home for his recuperation. Troy's operation got the internet buzzed when fans heard about it, while some news outlets decided to use that as an avenue to generate traffic to their websites. There were different speculations about Troy's health immediately after the news was released. Some wrote that he was in the hospital for a medical check, and some wrote that he was in hospital for back pains, while some confirmed the prostate cancer news. The rumors also followed. Many news outlets spread the word death around. The rumor of his death spread like wildfire, while his fans hoped it was not true, which made him come out to debunk the rumor. He told fans, thank y'all for the continued prayers. Troy added to his Facebook comment, I'm doing much better. After a successful operation, Troy resumed posting on his Facebook page with, surgery went good. No more prostate. Troy has since then resumed his normal activities. When off camera, Troy spends most of his time in his father's bait shop or shooting the bull. In recovery, he has been driving around his property with his grandson and continues to work on the lake. The news of Troy's death also reached his son, who was forced to debunk it as well. He wrote, Just wanted to give everybody a little heads up on dad. He's back home feeling much, much better. For those who don't know, he had prostate cancer and they removed his prostate. Everything looks good. After Troy's and son's Facebook posts, fans felt slightly relieved, and many took to his comment section to congratulate him. A Swamp People viewer wrote to Troy on Facebook, Thank God you are doing better. This world would be heartbroken if something were to happen to you. Keep getting stronger. Another penned, had to have the same surgery for prostate cancer, been cancer-free for 17 years. Wishing the best for Troy. I'm sure he'll be fine and love the new boat you're rigging up for him, Jacob. Take care, Swamp People. Reviewing Troy's personal and career history, which are deeply intertwined, it's apparent that he's worked hard as a crocodile hunter to earn a living from when he was a young boy. His hard work, zeal, and passion parted the way for him to become a successful gator hunter. Troy's knowledge as a businessman helping his father to supply crocodile meat and hide for various niches in the meal and leather industry made him ready to take on the world. When the opportunity of Swamp People came, Troy was fully ready to star on the show and defied all odds. He learned a great deal from his father, which helped him prepare his mind and save for his businesses instead of a luxury. He made his money work for him instead of working for money, which is what many people are doing today. Troy's choice of investing in a restaurant and fishing business helped him become the largest producer of fishing products in that region. Lastly, his health condition made him even more loved than what we have seen on the show. The number of fans who pen congratulatory messages to him on his Facebook shows Troy is undoubtedly a fan's favorite. It's great to know Troy is doing fine amidst all rumors. His skills and energy cannot be replaced on the show. Are you ready to see Troy back to his best for the next episode?